you know all the surveys say that evangelicals have the best sex life of any other group. Oh, come on. No oh, yeah. way. Oh, yeah. But let's just find out. How often do you have sex with your wife? Every day. Every day? Twice a day, how about, twice a day sometimes? Okay, how about you? Yeah. Every day. Every day. Let's say out of 100 times when you have sex, what percentage, what percentage does she climax? Everyone. Everyone. How Definitely about you? everyone. Okay. Everyone. Definitely. These guys, who would have thought these were a bunch of studs? Look at them. That's right. Look at that. We gotta join this church. <laughs> There's a lot of love in this place. There's a lot of love in this place. And you don't think these babies just come out of nowhere, do you? We don't have to debate about what we should think about homosexual activity. It's written in the Bible. So do you realize that in places where I'm from, like in San Francisco and New York, they think evangelicals are all haters because you make it seem like your truth is the only truth and you're really intolerant of people who don't believe what you believe. Well, here's something that's very important for everybody to understand. If you believe anything, then some people feel bad about that. Like, if I believe Crest toothpaste is the best toothpaste, then the Pepsodent users and the Listerine toothpaste users and the different ones feel bad about that because I'm saying Crest is best. Well, we say that about moral issues. We say marriage is a heterosexual relationship between a man and a woman. We say moral purity is better than immorality. We say telling the truth is better than telling a lie. And every time we say anything, and we've got 1,500 pages of those things we say, the Bible, when you say anything like that, there's a group of people that are going to get nervous about that. So we, we do have a public relations problem. We always have. They killed Jesus, if you'll recall. And the church has always had this problem because we are the ones with the role to say there is a moral plumb line and we need to rise up to it. And that's also why secular people are so concerned when the church doesn't fulfill its own moral stand. Like if a pastor falls into corruption or becomes dishonest or greedy. It's heartbreaking because even secular people want godly people to be authentically godly.